Hey guys, I'm Rex Adresa, and today we're going to be doing our August favorites. August has been a crazy month. I don't think I've mentioned this on YouTube yet, actually, but I am moving back to LA. I'm from LA originally, but um, I'm moving back this month. So it's been pretty crazy getting everything ready for the move and just trying to like pre-film all my videos and stuff. But here I am, ready to talk about some faves. The first thing, you might have just seen it, but these, um, I don't really hear people talking about much on YouTube. This is from BH Cosmetics and it's their BH Liquid Lipstick. I am very, very impressed with the formula of these. They're long lasting, they don't dry out on my lips, they have a really nice color range and color payoff. So I really have been loving them this month. <laughs> my friend Izzy told me about them, obviously, you guys know. Whenever there is something that she tells me, I always end up loving it. The two shades that I have are Endora and Clara. I'll show you guys some swatches so you can see the actual shades, but I really am a fan of these particular shades. Don't mind this swatch job that I just did. <laughs> I feel like I could have done that a lot better. But hey, I just wanted to show you the shades and they are really, really nice. I love this one. This is probably my favorite. Um, this, oh gosh, they do take a little while to dry. This was a really nice shade for summer, but now that we're getting into fall, I'm just like bringing on the vampy lips and the deeps and the browns and the, you know how it is. Like I just live for fall lip colors. So this is kind of a nice transitional shade from summer looks to fall looks if you get my drift. So yeah, I really like the shades that I have and there's a few others that I want. I can't remember now, but they were sold out at the time. But formula is very, very good. So check out the BH Cosmetics liquid lipsticks if you get a chance. I've really been loving this product, which which is the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup from Pure Cosmetics. Now, Pure Cosmetics, like, I don't really hear them talked about that often, but honestly, they make really nice products, and I'm a huge fan. This is what I've been using on, like, an everyday makeup day. I just think it has a nice finish. It's kind of satiny, and it kind of just, like, perfects your skin a little bit while still giving you some room to breathe. So this is what I've been using on, like, an everyday basis when I'm not really doing full makeup. I'm just you know, doing something light and breezy that I want a little bit of coverage with. I actually have two new brow products this month, which is very unlike me because I get very set in my ways, especially with the brows, because you guys know, I mean, brows, they're everything. So I always seem to stick to like the same products. And this month I ventured out and found some things that I really, really love. The first one is the Glossier Boy Brow. Girl, this has changed my life. It is amazing. I mean, it got the claps in there, you know it's good. Before I tried this this month, I was using like a clear brow gel. Well, I kind of bounced around between brands because let's be real, all clear brow gels sort of do the same thing, at least all the ones that I've tried. So I was using a clear brow gel and then I noticed that when I was taking pictures, um, especially close-up pics because I was trying to incorporate more close-up eye makeup pictures on my Instagram, I noticed that it almost looked like I had like plastic or even gray eyebrow hairs which was really weird so I kind of wanted to try a tinted brow gel which I haven't tried in years and years and years because I was just sticking to the clears for some reason but Izzy actually told me about this as well so I literally hopped on that second that she told me about it and I bought it and right when it came I was so excited I put it on this gives you the texture that no other brow product has ever given me um, it almost makes my brows feel like fluffy and this one is the shade black so it's very black which definitely solved my problem of the gray hair situation <laughs> that I was having and the wand is super small so I get very precise in there and it's just really easy to use. Highly recommend this product if you haven't tried it already. It is so so good and yeah I've just been really loving it this month. Plus it does actually make your brows stay in place all day so you get the texture, you get the hold, and you I get the color that I was looking for because that clear brow gel stitch was not working out for me. Then the other brow product that I tried out this month was the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil by Benefit. This pencil, I believe it came out like last month or maybe the month before. It's been out for a couple of months but like I said I just get so stuck in my ways when it comes to my brows because I like them done a certain way and and mom I ain't happy if it's done any other way and it doesn't turn out well. But I did run out of my, um, what's it called? Anastasia. Oh, my brow is. I ran out of my brow is this month. So I 
I was like, okay, it's time. Like, let me just try this Benefit one. And I was pleasantly surprised. It is a lot different than the Brow Wiz, which was what I was using previously. Um, I feel like this is much more similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, which honestly I haven't tried because of the same thing. Like, I just get stuck in my ways when it comes to brows, so haven't even tried that. But... This one, like I said, it's it looks more similar to that than it does the brow wiz because it has um, more of like a flat edge to it and it's more of a waxy texture. I wouldn't say that this is literally just like a brow pencil, it's just your standard average run of the mill brow pencil like the brow wiz is. This one has a bit more of a waxy texture to it, which I really like because you guys know my brow hairs get a little crazy a lot of the time. I mean, they're like they're crazy. I don't I don't even know what to say about them. So this them a little bit while I'm filling them in. I still do go over it with like a pomade usually but I do like just using this on everyday makeup but like if you want more of a glammed out look I do go in with a pomade as well but like I said oh my gosh how many times am I gonna say but in this one sentence <laughs> this is like the longest run-on sentence I've ever said in my life okay that run-on sentence over. You need to cut it! But like I've been saying, this has been great for like everyday makeup where I don't want anything too defined, just a little bit of, you know, fill in where I need it, which is mostly around the tails. Um, I've really been liking this and I think it has kind of replaced my brow wiz. So there you go. Also, I'm in the shade 4, by the way, if you're wondering. Next thing I wanted to talk about is a concealer, and it's the Amazing Concealer. This is their Hydrate Concealer, and I believe this is like a newer product than their original concealer. I love this concealer so much. It has quickly become my favorite concealer to use under the eyes because it doesn't cake up. It's very hydrating. It's not drying at all. It is just perfect and this actually isn't like a super light shade it's not gonna be a highlighting shade for my skin tone or if you have a skin tone similar to mine this is the shade medium or sorry tan golden so this is tan golden and it's what I'm wearing under my eyes right now but it doesn't have a super duper light shade to it at least if you are like I said close to my skin tone that's what it looks like right there you can see it kind of like blends into my skin really well Look how nicely it blends out. It's such a beautiful formulation because, like I said, it just doesn't dry up. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't like it doesn't do anything weird. It just stays on your eyes. It's pretty full coverage too. Like if I have a lot of bags under my eyes, this will cover it because it actually has a peachy undertone to it. So that also helps cancel out the purple tones which is definitely what we want. So I've been loving this concealer. I think I've used it almost every single time I've done my makeup this month. Also, I tried out the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation this month. Love this foundation. I actually love matte foundations, to be honest, as long as they're not, like, too drying or anything like that. I just really like a matte foundation. This is such a good matte foundation because it's very full coverage, very long wearing. It doesn't, you know, patch up anywhere or cake up anywhere. I have really been liking this one. Honestly, this foundation is pretty close to perfect, in my opinion. Um, I've been using using it a lot. I think that it stays on really well and it has a nice coverage, it has a nice finish. The only thing I do have to say about this is that it does oxidize, which honestly it doesn't really bother me that much as long as I have a shade that works for me. But I did want to mention it for you guys in case you know you're going to get this foundation that keep in mind it does definitely oxidize. When I first pumped it on my hand I thought it was so light like I literally it looked lighter than any highlight shade that I've ever used in my vision. So I put it on the back of my hand and then I kept doing like the rest of my makeup and I noticed that once it dried it was way darker like it probably got three to four shades darker and I have the shade 6.0 which is already like up there in the shade so I was like this cannot be 6.0 when I first applied it because it literally looked like I honestly thought I had gone the wrong shade or something because it looked so light but it does definitely oxidize which just something to keep in mind, but other than that, lovely foundation, really been liking it. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about another liquid lipstick. This, again, is not something that I really hear talked about much, but it is from Motives Cosmetics, and it's their Motives Ma Maven's Daddy's Girl Liquid Lipstick. I love this formula. Like, it is so good, you guys. I wore it the other day, and we went to eat Chipotle, which, if you guys know Chipotle, like, it is actually pretty messy. <laughs> So I was eating my burrito and then after I ate, it was still on exactly how it was when I first applied, which I was so impressed with because, I mean, 
if it can withstand Chipotle, it can withstand anything. And the color that I have is really pretty as well. So that's the shade right there. It's called Daddy's Girl. And to me, it's just like a perfect deep nude. It's like a rosy nude to me. Oh, I love this shade. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about it. The formula is really good. The color is beautiful. And I've been liking it a lot. This is more like what I would wear on an everyday basis. So... I love it. Also, you can dress this up or down, which is another good thing. Oh, and last thing I wanted to talk about is Loving Tan. You guys know I really like the 2R Express in dark, but they actually came out with a new product this month. This is the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream, again in dark. Really, really like this, especially if you don't have time to do a full self tan and you just want a little extra glow. I've been using this on the daily. Well, usually only when I like go out because a lot of days I just stay in my house and edit and do stuff and work. <sighs> but when I do have to like go out somewhere and I want to look a little bit more presentable and a little bit more glow. I've really been loving this. It is instant tan and it washes off so it's nothing permanent. You just rub it on like it's a lotion or something and it gives you an instant tan like I just said. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it but it, you can't see it on your skin once you're wearing it. It just looks like you're glowing and it's so beautiful. Um, I do wear the shade dark. They have an extra dark as well but I find that dark uh, works best for me. Alrighty guys so I think that's going to be it for this video. Those are all of the products that I've picked out as my August favorites. Like I said it's been a crazy month but I'm glad I got to hop on and do this video because honestly favorites videos are one of my favorites to film just because I get to you know sit here relax talk to you guys like we're just friends here. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be it for me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. <coughs> <laughs> what is happening? I feel like this is going to be...